Hygiene is essential when collecting and processing semen. You should always wash your hands before preparing any equipment for collection, using an antibacterial gel soap and warm water. Dry them with disposable tissue so as not to transfer contamination from a hand towel. To prepare a clean collection flask, first put on a new pair of semen-friendly gloves. Depending on your preferred method, prepare a plastic collection bag or polystyrene cup with a semen filter and collection flask. Use a new elastic band to secure the filter. Put a plastic glove over the hand you will use to stimulate the bore to protect the collection glove from contamination. Store this flask in a warm box at 36 degrees centigrade to reduce the possibility of cold shock to the semen. You are now ready for collection. When training a new artificial insemination bore, you must first introduce yourself and the portable collection dummy to his own pen, slowly and carefully taking care not to stress the bore. Let him investigate and smell you and get used to your touch. Massage the prepuce and begin to rub and stimulate the bore, talking to him quietly. And be careful not to stress the animal. A stressed bore will be impossible to train. It is very important to be patient, as this process may take some time and will need to be repeated. Encourage the bore towards the collection dummy, and as he begins to produce his penis, remove your outer glove and grip the end of the penis firmly in a fist. This should be enough stimulation to make the boar mount the dummy. If he refuses to mount, there are a few tips you can try to help encourage him. The smell and feel of an old pair of overalls tied around the dummy often does the trick. As soon as the boar has mounted, do not release your grip on his penis. This will cause him to dismount the dummy. Sometimes you need to hold on for several minutes. It is necessary to repeat the training two or three times to ensure the young boar is familiar with the procedure. Here is an example of collecting from a well-trained older boar. When a boar is familiar with the dummy, it is possible to use a separate clean area for collection, making the process simple and quick. The trained boar will mount a permanent dummy without interference and begin to thrust by himself. Enter the collection area quietly from the side. Squeeze out the prepuce to remove any urine and wipe it dry with a disposable paper towel. Again, grip the penis firmly as it is extended and firmly pull it out, which encourages the boar to fully erect. Do not collect any material produced at this time. Instead, wait for the characteristic pulsing of the penis and the thick white sperm-rich fraction to appear before collection. Some boars may produce 2 to 400 milliliters over a period of 3 or 4 minutes.
Wait until the bore is fully satisfied and finished before releasing the penis. In your processing area, all your equipment should be ready beforehand. Keep the area clean and tidy. Firstly, check the motility of the fresh semen. This is the movement score of the semen under the microscope. Place a small drop on a slide and observe. You may request a score chart from your JSR representative. To produce a litre of diluent, weigh out your distilled water and dry powder semen extender and mix it well. Allow the diluent to stand and warm in a water bath at 34 degrees centigrade for at least an hour before you begin processing. If your motility is satisfactory, pour the semen into the diluent. Never pour diluent into the semen. Gently massage and mix the semen in the bag and record your date and bore number on the bag. Using the pouring clamp, fill up your dosing bottles as shown and seal the bottles ready for storage. An alternative method for on-farm collection offered by JSR is the ultimate package, whereby JSR delivers ready-made pre-mixed and measured dosage bottles direct to your farm. These are warmed prior to semen collection at 34 degrees centigrade. And the next simple step is to add 15 milliliters of fresh semen to each bottle. In all cases, the semen should be rechecked under the microscope to ensure it is alive and moving. The semen is now ready for insemination or must be stored at a constant 17 degrees centigrade in a cool locker.